What's up, everybody? I've got an entertaining one for you today. I have a $100 Ford Escape that came in just like this. It's missing the um, exhaust manifold. You see the gasket's still hanging there. But before I put any money in this car, man, i got to see how the engine runs or if it does run because, you know, this is going to be an expensive proposition fixing this exhaust. So before I move forward, i got to find out. So... Here's my question. Have you ever started a car without the exhaust on it? What happens? Well, that's actually a pretty good question. So if you take a look right here inside the port, you see it right there. On the very inside of that, if you stuck your finger in there, you would fill the valve. And it kind of just kind of goes, you just kind of see the hole going there, okay. And so when the combustion process happens, that opens, it's going to push out the exhaust right out of that valve hole. So there's literally, it's going to be pushing exhaust straight out of here. And you're like, oh, that doesn't seem like a big deal. Well, I can start the car and see what's going to happen as far as the engine runs, but I don't recommend this. Now, this is a $100 car, so I'm not really that worried about it. And this is a cool video. Two things that you should not be concerned with. But, um, so what can actually happen is, is if you try to drive a car that don't have exhaust on it, as the engine heats up, the metal that's around the valve seat, which is usually made out of stainless steel, well, if it gets a cool breeze in it because it's metal, it can contract. And if it contracts, if it gets cool too quick, you can drop a valve seat and suck a valve down. That's the real danger. And, um of engine damage anyway to uh, starting a car without exhaust. So I'll take that chance for sucking a valve down. It's about 85, 90 degrees out. And uh, I'm only going to start it to make sure she runs. But I thought it would be a cool video for you to check out. So let's jump up in the driver's seat and see what happens when we hit the key. And maybe I'll come down here and take a quick video and show you what it looks like. Maybe we can catch the valve moving back and forth. It's going to be loud, but I will do it for my viewers just because y'all love this crap. All right, man, just hang chilly. Okay, guys, we made it to the front, so let's see what happens. Um, we got all our dash lights on. Everything sounds like it wants to move. So let's see what we got here. Watch that RPM. Let's see if she moves. Make sure the crank signal and all that stuff is good. Oh! Bust it off. You know, it is kind of loud, but it isn't as loud as I thought it was going to be. Um, the last one I did this was a 350 small block, and that was kind of like Vietnam uh, with no earmuffs. So hang on, let's take a look underneath and see if we can catch that valve moving back and forth. That would be a pretty cool sight, so let's just check it out. So yeah, I mean, it's running really well. I mean, she is just kicking nice and smooth. This vehicle hasn't ran, like I said, in three years. I did um, put some deep creep in the spark plugs, let it soak down a little bit before we try to bust it off because I didn't want to spin any bearings. But uh, yeah, so she, she turned out good. Meanwhile, our channel is all about education and entertainment a little bit. and. Uh, Hopefully get a subscribe out of you guys. We really would appreciate that. Also, if you're bored today, go check out our cool Amazon store that's in our description. It's all my favorite picks, and I'm sure you'll find something that you love. Love, love, like you love the car, man. 
Meanwhile, y'all know I got to put this $100 car together, so stop giving me grief. Oh, and by the way, I say it's worth more than $100 now because you just bust it off. What? Meanwhile, see ya, love ya, don't want to be ya. Broadcasting from the RVA. Later, baby.